All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation. Now, I know this looks a little strange, <laughs> but just letting you know, uh, I do, it is really late at night right now and there are people sleeping in the house right now. So I'm actually, uh, I have to do things slightly differently and I might end up having to do this type of setup where I have the, my mic holding it like an actual, you know, on stage microphone uh, in the future. But at the very least, I can at least make my videos uh, and try and get them out as soon as possible for you guys. But anyways, for today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Incredibles event that we have going on in Union Cross. Now, if you haven't seen it already, we are getting three different things for uh, the entire Incredibles event. Now, I say event in quotations because right now, ever since anniversary, second anniversary has happened, all these like events don't really feel like events, okay? I don't know what Square Enix is kind of doing and thinking stuff and, and like they're trying to drag out like these month long events when they're and like, but like we'll never do anything for them. More or less, the, like I think, I feel like Square Enix is classifying events as just like month long uh, banner splurges and not actual like missions for, or like legitimately like fun missions for us the players to like play on and stuff. Um, and to me, that's not an event at all whatsoever. I really hope that they, they stop doing this pretty soon, but it, it would be really, it would be really sad to see if like they end up ruining just, just what a, like an actual event is supposed to be in the first place. But anyways, aside from that, let's go into the actual banners themselves. Okay. So we have going right now, the high score challenge for the Bob and Jack Jack medal. Just so you guys are aware, this is literally just the magic reverse version of Soar and Simba. It doesn't do anything different. It's just literally the magic version of it. Okay. Um, so if you're able to try and get your hands on it, the more the merrier. But other than that, in terms of the banner, okay, uh, we are getting a pretty cool banner and luckily it's actually, as far as I'm aware, the exact same as what the JP version of the game had, where you get two Incredibles medals uh, for every pull and we are getting the first pull free which is really nice, okay? Um, I I, actually, I honestly really enjoy the fact that we're starting to get more and more banners every once in a while that have free pulls. Uh, it's something that we've been, for Global, been wanting for the longest time. I, I guess it makes up for the fact that we're getting like bombarded <laughs> with banners over and over again, um, which makes up in a monetary aspect for Square Enix, but at the very least, we are getting it for free uh, for the first pull. Okay, so aside from Bob and Jack-Jack, before I actually go into my advice as to whether or not you should pull from the banner, which medals you go for and such, let me go ahead and review real quick the actual medals themselves, aside from Bob and Jack-Jack, since that's literally just a magic version of Soren Simba. Uh, let me actually go over the other four Incredibles medals, uh, so that way you are at least aware of what they are, if you don't already know already. First of all, we'll start off with all of them are prime medals, and we'll start off with Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible is a power upright medal, tier 5, AoE, cost 3 gauges. He does 15 hits, which is honestly, I think might be the most amount of hits in the game. But he has a total max multiplier of 7.05 to 11.8 for his 6 star version, and this is his ability. For one turn, he raises the special, for one turn, he raises your guilt bonus plus 70%. He adds plus three enemy counters, as well as he inflicts more damage with more party members. The seven star version is the exact same thing as the six star version, except he, get, he gets the plus three upright strength buff, as well as the guilt buff increases from 70% to 90%. Prime Mrs. Incredible is a speed upright metal, tier four instead of five. AOE costs one gauge, three hits. Has a total max multiplier of 5.34 to a 9.34, and this is what she does. For one turn, she she has an overwrite mechanic. She sets the target's general strength to minus seven tiers. She sets the target's PSM strength to minus two tiers. And she adds plus one enemy counters. As well, she deals more damage with more party members. Uh, and just like with Mr. Incredible, her seven star version is literally the exact same thing as her six star version, except she has the plus three upright strength, as well as she gets the plus 20% uh, guilt buff added on to what she had beforehand. So basically she, she didn't have any in her six star version, so she has plus 20% on her seven star version. Prime Violet is a 
Magic Upright Metal Tier 4 as well. Uh, AoE cost 1 gauge has 3 hits, total max multiplier of 5.34 to a 9.34, and for 4 turns, which is actually kind of surprising, raises your general defense by 3 tiers, your PSM defense by 4 tiers, and enemy counters plus 1, and deals more damage with more party members. Her 7 star version is the exact same thing, um, except it has the upright buffs and the guilt plus 20% buff as well. Last but not least, we have Prime Dash, who is a speed upright metal as well. Tier 4 AoE costs 1 gauge and deals 8 hits. Has a total max multiplier of 5.34 to a 9.34, and this is what he does. For 3 attacks, not turns, but attacks, he raises your upright strength by 5, your general strength by 7, your PSM strength by 7, and lowers the target's upright defense by four your, their general defense by seven and their psm defense by seven and he he also raises the enemy's counters plus two and deals more damage with more party members and his seven star version does the exact same thing except it raises the upright strength by seven instead of five and also includes the plus 20 percent guilt buff all right so now that we know what these medals actually do uh, let me go, go ahead and give like my advice in terms of the event and the banners and such. Okay, so first of all, definitely make sure you get your <laughs> your free pull. There's no reason for you to not to. Um, most of the medals within this banner, for the Incredibles medals at least, are actually kind of pretty decent. Um, although I will say that the two medals you definitely want to go for the most, and the absolute most, is uh, Violet is the top priority. Violet is by far the best metal in this entire deal, uh, which is kind of weird because they're actually emphasizing Mr. Incredible as like, you know, the mercy metal, like as like the, you know, the big spotlight metal, which is actually kind of strange because he's actually not that good. <laughs> he's honestly not that great. Uh, compared to other prime metals that are already existing in the game, metals such as like Prime, Kiart 17, Woody, and Buzz actually do more damage compared to Mr. Incredible. Plus 90% that he has at the 7 star isn't that great either because if you already have Kyrie EX Plus, uh, she already prov provides 80%. And just a 10% increase honestly is almost nothing in terms of damage. But anyways... Violet is first place. You def like above all else, you want Violet. Violet is by far the best turtle medal in the game. The only thing that she doesn't do is provide general uh, strength debuffs or strength debuffs at all. Period, um, which is probably what will set her apart from medals such as like Vexen Plus and Zexion Plus. Although she does provide enemy counters, so she is the first turtle medal in the entire game that provides enemy counters. Um, and if you happen to not have uh, Kyrie EX Plus already, or Shion EX Plus as well, um, then getting a copy of Mrs. Incredible as well is definitely going to be pretty useful for you. Whether it be in general for the, you know, in general for the game or for PvP, either way, she's going to be a nice, like, subtle alternative replacement until you can get yourself a copy of Kyrie or Shion EX Plus. In terms of Dash, Dash is literally trash, <laughs> okay? Um, the fact that his ability only lasts for three turns Pretty much because of the fact that his ability only lasts for three attacks, any metal whose ability only lasts for an X amount of attacks is automatically already really bad. Especially as you start getting stronger and stronger and stronger as you go higher in, uh, tiers in the game and such, um, it becomes even worse and worse because you're more likely to have metals that have like extra attack. And for missions that you actually use a friend metal, that actually makes it even harder to use metals such as like dash because... That means in order to actually make the use out of Dash's ability, you actually need multiple copies of Dash <laughs> to put him like two or three times within your setup, which honestly is just wasting slots and space and it's just not worth it at all whatsoever. Uh, he doesn't even provide enough like really good damage to like make him worth it. So, so out of all four medals within this banner deal, uh, Violet is definitely first no matter what type of player you are. Mrs. Incredible is second if you don't already have Kyrie Shown EX. Everything else is honestly kind of subpar and not really needed. All right, so real quickly before I forget, I do want to mention that I do believe it is worth pulling from this banner at least a few times. Uh, maybe like two or three times depending it really depends on how many jewels you have I know a lot of you are really waiting for the axle medal that's going to be coming out for the organization 13 event on the 13th um, And it really just comes down to subtle things like are you a VIP player? Are you free to play player? Yada yada, okay for the free to play players. I'll go one by one for the free to play players um, obviously do your free pull and then I might say 
Uh, maybe one pull at most might be okay with you. Depends on how many jewels you have, of course, um, but you could probably get away with one pull. And your goal for, as a free-to-play player is going to be the violet medal, um, just like everybody else, okay? But you, for you guys, most of all, you want the violet medal. For the VIP players, uh, cheap to play and dolphins, as I like to call them as well, you can probably afford to pull maybe two, three, uh, maybe even four times uh, from this banner just because of the fact it's a lot easier for you guys to actually get uh, jewels a lot faster compared to free to play because we are getting 4400 jewels from VIP every week for those of you that actually buy the VIP uh, which will help basically recover um, one of those pulls and such. So if you're already in, if you're already ready, pretty much more or less ready for the Organization 13 event, because remember, we do get 5,000 jewels, assuming you complete the entire Organization 13 event. Even if you don't beat the whole thing, you only get like three or 4,000, that's still pretty much like enough for some of the pulls from the Organization 13 event itself. So keep that in mind when trying to determine whether or not you want to go uh, for pulling on the Incredibles banner and such um, and obviously for the whales it shouldn't even like really matter to you too much uh, most likely because of the fact that from whatever number of pulls you're gonna end up doing anyways you're probably gonna get all the medals anyway so uh, but other than that that's it for today guys I just want to quickly give my advice on the banner I will be having my individual medal analysis videos to go along with each of these medals individually um, coming out pretty soon I already have their medal analysis articles already written so they should be honestly out like back to back to back within these next few days or so <laughs> but other than that if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way to know when i upload more videos such as this one but other than that my name is brian from kingdom hearts new cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace